stretch, stretch, more stretch. Ow. But that one didn't feel very good. <sighs> you know, this is a little random, but while I was like, you know, totally not staring into the void, I was kind of thinking about some stuff. And one of the things that I was kind of thinking about while I was working is like some of my favorite things about VTubing. And like one of my favorite things about VTubing is the fact that you can be anything you want. And I know that sounds so generic and basic, but like, no, literally like think about that. You know how some people, they want to like get their hair dyed or something. They want to change their hair color or stuff. Or if they want to change their eye color, they got to put contacts on, like colored contacts. They got to go to the to the hair salon and dye their hair or get box dye and then they have to do all this expensive process just to like change your hair or something like that right but with like vtubing it's as simple as just swapping on a toggle like a hair color toggle or like let's say you want to have like short hair one day and then long hair the next instead of waiting like years to grow out your hair then chop it all off. You can just change your hairstyle anytime that you want. And I just, I love that. I love how like you can just look however you want. Like if you want to be a piece of broccoli, you can. You actually can be a piece of broccoli and people just vibe with it. Imagine like doing this entire productivity stream as a broccoli and you're just vibing out with a piece of broccoli And I just I, I just think that's so funny. Like I love that I love how like VTV allows you to do that kind of stuff And there is this whole idea of just creative expression that I feel like Other avenues that you would typically do such as like social online games like VR chat and stuff like customizing is a little bit more tedious and like, I don't know, I just kind of like how on the flip of a switch, I can just be naked if I want. To. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. We're, we're not going to get banned on this platform. But, you know, it's just, I think it's really cool how you can like just customize yourself like that. It's one of my favorite things about VTubing that I feel like not many people talk about. Because a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, with VTubing, you can, you can have creative expression. But nobody really emphasizes on what that means. And... Good grief, he's naked! <laughs> Oh god, don't tell, don't tell YouTube that. I'm not naked, YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's just one of those things where I'm thinking to myself like, man, it's so nice that if I wanted to just completely change how I look the next day, I, I could. And I have the power to do that. And if people vibe with it, then awesome. Like there's just such a huge creative aspect about it. I'm not being a sussy buck. I'm just saying like at the end of the day, it depends on how you want to express yourself. You're so right for that. You're so real. It's true. It's true. And it's just one of my favorite things that I really like about VTubing. It's this whole art of creative expression. And I really hope that one day more people can want to express themselves creatively without feeling limited. Because I feel like a lot of VTubers right now, they feel so limited to just copy what's popular, do like certain VTubing trends because they're afraid to like express themselves. They don't like want to try to express themselves creatively because they're worried no one's gonna like it, no one's gonna vibe with it. And the truth is there's gonna be a lot of people who don't vibe with you regardless if you're doing trends or not. People are just not going to vibe with you no matter what. So instead of worrying about that, it's better to worry about the people who do vibe with you, the people who do like you and work on that more. And like, I don't know, I really want to encourage people to experiment with themselves and try to like pursue something in VTubing that you actually want to do, not because you think it's going to get you a couple of extra likes on Twitter or something. <laughs> and like, I don't know, that's like what I just really like about VTubing. I don't know if there's anything that all of you like about VTubing a lot better or what some of your favorite things about VTubing are. So I guess, I don't know, just let me know. I, I, that's just one of my little tidbits of things that I like about VTubing personally. Honestly, I think it all comes down to time. People can be as creative as their time allows. If you don't have time, you can't be creative. And so you default to the most efficient method. That's so interesting too. It makes me, well, and that part makes me wonder. If you don't have time to be creative and default to like whatever is the most efficient, what what's what are you trying to get out of that creative outlet though? Cause like for me, if I don't have time to be creative, I just don't do anything. You know, like I I just don't 
do anything until I have the time for it. That's just me personally, because I don't want to produce something that I'm not proud of, you know? Because, like, if it's a creative outlet, I, I don't want to produce something that, like, I'm not really, like, it it's like, what's the point? It's like, that's a waste of my time. <laughs> I'd rather wait until I have more time to do it. <laughs> oh, since I was, ooh. My eye itchy. It depends. Sometimes I don't have time to be creative. I actually come up with great ideas and then I forget them. It makes me sad. I forget them. Write it down. Honestly, like have a little notes app that you can just word vomit into. Do text to speech. Be like, oh my gosh, here's a super awesome idea. And then just word vomit into it. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do think in terms of like efficiency, if I had to comment about that, I think if you have an idea for something that you want to pursue, but you don't have the time to fully flesh it out, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. If you're talking about like efficiency of like, hey, I have a deadline that I got to get out. So what's the most efficient way to get it done? I can kind of see that. But I think when it comes to expressing like your persona, specifically your persona and expressing you as a person... Are you going to just go out and buy like a random metal band poster of a band that you have never heard of or don't like because it's efficient? Or are you going to buy like something that really vibes with you and shows people who visit your room what your interests are? That's kind of how I view creating your own model and like your own OC and like your design. I think it's worth taking the time to just express yourself and show people what you like rather than, um, I, I guess I just don't understand like what the efficiency part of that is when creating your own OC. It, it seems like that's like a tracing thing or like a, a plagiarizing thing that that's the only thing I could think of unless if I'm missing something here <laughs> um because I'm like very specific on what I'm talking about versus like you know making a YouTube video <laughs> and then to my ideas and crit we were kind of talking about both I kind of went into both like avenues for that <laughs> so that's valid <laughs> we were kind of talking about both I need to go use the litter box before we start our next work session so I will be Right back. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. So get yourself your drinkies and some snacks. And we're going to be more productive in a bit. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, that's real nice. What the f***? Hey! No toilets on stream! Baka.